I am Dr. M. M. Zamir, consultant pediatric surgeon from Narayana Health Bangalore. Esophageal atresia is a serious congenital anomaly that we encounter in pediatric surgery. The x-ray of a patient with esophageal atresia has a lot of things that one needs to see. Today, let us systematically review an index x-ray of a patient with esophageal atresia. The first thing one needs to see is the type of x-ray. So here, this is a plain x-ray of the chest and abdomen of a neonate. It is well exposed. It is well centered. We can see both the heads of the clavicles equidistant from the midline and it is a PA view. Next is the diagnosis and the type of esophageal atresia. The most prominent thing that we see in this x-ray is the coiling of the infant feeding tube in the upper part of the chest which is characteristic of esophageal atresia. If you look at the abdominal part of the x-ray, we see the good gas pattern. This says that there is a fistula between the lower pouch and the trachea. So most probably this is a type C esophageal atresia that is a blind upper pouch and a lower pouch having a fistula with the trachea. The next thing that we want to see is the complications associated with esophageal atresia. So we look at the lung feeds, especially looking out for pneumonic patches. In esophageal atresia, characteristically we may have a right upper zone haziness because of aspiration pneumonia. Esophageal atresia is associated with a lot of congenital anomalies. So, we need to look at the heart and the skeletal system. For the heart, we see if there is cardiomegaly. Many of the cases of esophageal atresia are associated with a cardiac condition called as TOF, that is tetralogy of fallows, in which we have a characteristic boot shaped heart. In the skeletal system, we have to look at the vertebrae to look for any anomalies like uh, any vertebra or a butterfly shaped vertebra. We look at the ribs to look for any anomalies. One of the characteristic things that is seen in esophageal atresia is an extra pair of ribs in some patients, that is, they have 13 pair of ribs. This signifies that the patient may have associated genetic abnormality. Many of these cases are also associated with a longer gap esophageal atresia. So thus, if we look at a case on an x-ray of a patient with esophageal atresia in a systematic manner, that is the type of x-ray, the diagnosis and the type in which we look at the infant feeding tube, which is coiled in the upper part as well as the gas pattern in the abdomen, we look at the lung feeds for complications and we look at the cardiac and the skeletal system for associated anomalies, we can identify many things from a simple x-ray of a patient with esophageal atresia.